percent now. So we are. Okay, so you guys should see what I'm doing now, right? And um, all we're going to do is review. So Lisa, this is going to be a super easy week for you. Um, you probably already looked at the assignment. I'm going to put this link in the chat. And I want you to just go through, what does she type? I know she types it. <laughs> she said, amen. <laughs> yeah, well, we got to cover some stuff over again for one last time, Lisa, before we move forward, because I don't want to leave anybody in the dust, you know. I want to make sure everybody has a, a fighting chance to get out this yeah. quarter. That's understandable. So, okay, thank you for being understanding. <laughs> so basically, uh, I want you to gather your notes. Uh, I'm going to put five minutes on the clock. Well, actually, you guys are early, so that's you get extra credit for that. But um, what you what I want you to do is get your screen set up the same way as mine's, and you'll see here uh, we're going to be in Google Docs again. And you might want to use your Google Docs to find what you need in terms of solving this problem because we did the same problem last week, so this shouldn't be hard. I just changed the values a little bit. Okay, so that's the easy part. All this week is review. So looking at those quizzes, not everybody turned them in. They look bad. They sent out the reports. We got to help you guys do better. Okay, so take a look at that. Start your document off the same way as me. And uh, we're definitely going to look into uh, the norms in a moment. So let me do attendance real quick. Let's see who's here. I'm going to do attendance and everything on a separate laptop. So it's not computer science we're in today. We are in, let's get this corrected, physics with algebra. All right, attendance. And we have Ms. Brown here, and we have Angel here early. Everybody else, we gotta wait for them to show up. Okay, so two more minutes, we're gonna begin. I'm get started with this because we're going to talk about this real quick after the norms. So it's review the time of the day. No, it's not, Lisa. Thank you, though. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. No, it's not. No, it's not. I was rushing because I was up here fixing the computer. The actual term for today is around uh, what we used last week. Let me see what that was. So do you have the notes of what last week's word was? Yeah. Right. I'm gonna go you, look at it. Yeah. So that's that was the extra credit part, Lisa. That's why I just put review there, but you kind of jumped on top of it already. <laughs> so um let me see here. Who's coming in the classroom now? Let's see. Looks like uh looks like we got Mr. Rush here. Uh, the, oh, okay, Courtney Dixon has arrived. Welcome to class, Courtney. So uh, might want to start resizing your screens. Um, let's start class in about, I want to give you five more minutes to get everything set up. We're going to go through our norms. We're going to talk about how you're going to access class from here on out. And um, then do the problem, I guess. But this time, I want you guys to pull the notes, because I saw what happened on Friday. People didn't all, all, all the people didn't have their notes. So I'm, I'm going to give you time to find the notes and do it again. This will help you for uh, for the grades you missed last week. But I'll start you off. I'm looking at some of these quiz scores. Some people just did, didn't even turn nothing in. It was like, forget it. Uh, let's see. What did Lisa just say? I want to give a clock of uh, five minutes about. I need you to work with me and not against me. Come here. All right. There we go. Okay, grab that. He said, I'm not asleep. I didn't say he was asleep, dude. <laughs> I didn't even say that. He coming with the war axe. Mr. Rush said that. Oh, Mr. Rush said, oh, okay. oh, I missed the whole conversation. My bad, Courtney. Let me stay in my, my lane. Um, but in five minutes, we're going to begin um, with uh, the do now. You want to make sure your screens are sized like mine, all that jazz. Lita just posted the word of the day. Wow. Thank you, Rush, because I have I am really blind. 
I got you. I know you're not in, in, in your lab. I, got you. <laughs> I am really not liking this. You can tell. <laughs> I'm not in my lab. Out of my element, 100%. Um, but I, I got to get Miss Light 2's computer up and going. She's trying. Um, so Chrome is what we need. Uh, S mode. Maybe that's the issue. And it was, okay. Lord, did I record? Yes, I'm recording. Okay. I know tomorrow I'm going to be in my house teaching. <laughs> All right. Um, Somebody else, Jacqueline. Where you been at? Welcome back. You've been missing for a little bit, Jacqueline. You good? Yeah. All right. Uh, try to catch up to us. We're about to begin our norm. Somebody else is coming to class. Okay, who's this now? So yeah, Jack, Ali is here. Okay. All right. Let me mark y'all present. Leah Mims. Uh, Christopher Clark, welcome to class, sir. You made it. Courtney's here. What's acceleration <laughs> review? <laughs> Thank you, Courtney. Uh, so the word of the day is not review. I mean, the term of the day is not review. Actually, it's the word from last week. That's me. Me and Lisa was just discussing that. So uh, I'm going to go through uh, a resource I gave to Mr. Clark already, but uh, I'm going to give it. Thank you, Lisa. She. I was going to say, what is the word of the day, actually? And she just typed it in the chat, everybody. So take a look at that because you're going to need it for your document. And we're going to go slowly through what's required to be successful. But first and foremost, we need to make sure that we are uh, using our norms, right? So we're going to go through our norms together real quick. And let me look at the list. So first in my list would be, you know, I thought I was playing, it's always Aaliyah. I think it does it by first name alphabetized. So uh, Aaliyah, can you read uh, the first five, uh, five uh, basic norms? One second, Lisa. Let's stop this thing. There we go. All right, Aaliyah, can you read it? No one has to write to another person. I said the five. Going? Yeah, keep going. Oh, All five, five Aaliyah. She stopped. No one has the right to hurt another person. Education, the classroom, our sacred. We will never behave in a way that has credit ourselves, our school, our family. At Excel Academy of Southwest Schools, it's always a lady or a gentleman. We take pride in self-cutting yourself with. 
Thank you, Aaliyah. All right, so next will be the academic norms. Let's take a look at who can read this for us. Uh, Angel, are you there? Can you read at least two of the academic norms? I can read the whole thing if you want. Uh, well, go ahead. Read the whole thing, sir. We respect the parents of others. We respect the culture of the classroom. We are attentive and participate. We have high expectations of ourselves, our peers, and our teachers. We are here to focus on preparing ourselves for post-secondary. Thank you, sir. You're a scholar and a gentleman. All right. So now everybody, you should be logged into ESB, right? So if you're not familiar with, oh, who said that, Mr. Clark? Yeah, I'm logged in. I'm off phone. I'm not logged in on the computer, though. That was why, sir. So let me go through what we need to do. Um, everybody should have this. But well, everybody will have this in one minute. I think Mr. Clark already has this. And I've been yeah. showing you guys previews of this for a while, but let me just share it out again and uh, make sure it's in the right duration. Uh, if you don't click anything, it will change slides after a minute. So uh, be mindful of that. But uh, if you click on what you need, it'll help you navigate the courses because they're all courses. All my courses are tied to this one thing. So let me put this in the chat again. And Courtney's already starting us with the problem. Man, I see all this in there. So let me put this in the chat, and then we'll come back to Courtney. Courtney, great job, man. I'm going to give you about 35 points for that. He's helping me out a lot. You notice he's starting us off with the problem a lot. But everybody, t take a moment before we start on the problem. Courtney, about the steam roll through. I want to make sure you can open that link, and it works for you guys. <laughs> so take about two minutes to try to test that out. I know Mr. Clark, you already have it. Just be patient with us, please. Yeah, it works. Okay. So yeah. take a moment and click. What is, Lisa, can you share your screen? I want you to tell me what you see so we can make sure this is working. Okay. Okay. So whenever you share, it's going to move my screen out the way. So just go ahead. Okay. Can you see I it? can. Okay. Can you can you blow my slide up a little bit? You, Lisa, you are already working everything. She got a screen size. This is what I was trying to tell you guys you need what she did, but Lisa, come back to that afterwards. So we're gonna do a little exploration here, Lisa. Can you click on that hide down there, Lisa? Click on the, the hide. Oh yeah. This. All right, so Lisa, let's go through it. Can you click on the bulldog real quick? This right. Yep. Okay. Where does it go? Great. Okay, so that works, right? So that's our school. Mm -hmm. You can go back to the slides. And oh, I'm not even pressing. Okay, so go back to the yellow. Click on the yellow box at the bottom. It says "Click to return home." So, so you know how to get back. Now you can click on me. Click on um, not me. I'm sorry, Lisa. Click on uh that little math that's on the board there. This. Mm -hmm. So this is, you know, oh, you don't have a LinkedIn account, so you can't see it. Jeez, I got to fix that. All right, I just put my resume there. How do I get one? You got to sign up for it, Lisa. It's really cool to have. I was going to talk to you about that as far as resumes and stuff. But we'll come back to that. Okay. It's a free service. Uh, so you come back to slides. Just seeing what you guys can and can't see. Uh, click on the large hydron collider by me. It looks like a little spider web, but it's actually a nuclear reactor. What the? It keeps doing <laughs> you gotta take your time. Then, that one. There you go. You gotta take your time. Wait for the, the hand to turn from a pointer to a finger. Okay. okay, so this is a good site. CERN, you guys can look at what they're doing currently in science. And I even have meditation music in the corner, just in case you need some common music, right? I've worked here before. Uh, you can come back, Lisa. Okay. Uh, click on myself. Okay, so I want, let's see here, not Lisa, but Aaliyah, no, Courtney, can you read uh, starting from objective on down? You said read what? You see where it says objective on the screen, on Lisa's screen? Objective, students will be able to complete the evaluation and edge. Hello, all aspiring. Oh my students. god, I keep doing it like what the 
It, it's gonna do that, Lisa. Relax. <laughs> there you go. Hello, all aspiring STEM students. Welcome to class. Inside of Ezzy, you can access all pre order all pre-recorded videos of each class. These videos are normally ready to review by 4 p.m. daily. Okay. Thank you, sir. So, Lisa, if you click on the Apple me, the one, the guy eating an apple at the desk. Yeah. Yep. So, this slide will always be here. I'm going to try to update it every day so you guys can go back and just click on it. The videos from last Friday were there. But today's video will be available uh, in the physics section. And this is a, a link to all classes that I have. So um, you can click on return to home slide. And then I'm going to come, we're going to come to our physics class. So click on me again. Okay. And then you see the, at, yeah, scroll back or, up. Uh, go okay. back to the home screen? Yeah, you can use this slide too, basically. Oh. So if you ever get lost, just slide too. But click on that. Click on what? Me. <laughs> oh. I'm going to change that so it won't always be me. It'll be a book on the desk. All right, now click on um, SPS. You see SPS there? By my um, name? Wait. Your name? Come over. It's right by CS oh. for All, SPS. Stands for Society of Physics Students. All right. So inside of here, if you see the Google link on the side, guys, that's the link to always get to class. And inside of that cubby hole, there are all sorts of simulations you can click on and play with. But every day, we're going to be using some of these simulations in class. Okay? So today's simulation, we're dealing with what? Acceleration, right? So what, Lisa, do you think, since you have the mouse, is going to be the icon for acceleration? Uh oh, it skipped on you. Um, what do you yeah, mean? So you see the little, you see the magnets, you see the, the prism. Which one do you think we're going to use today for acceleration? Um, since it's a like car, some even you, the you, the car. You, the, definitely the car, Lisa. Really good. Uh, click on that. Everybody, click on the car. gonna bring more ninety dollars today. All right. So let's begin on our assignment. I want you everybody to get this this one going. So I showed you where to go. You click on your physics class, which is SPS, in my prep period, and it'll take you to a physics classroom. You can click on the car, and when you click on the car, it'll take you to the simulation. So take a moment and do that. Next thing we want to do is, Lisa, you can stop sharing. And thank you for your help, dear. No so let me resume, and um, here's where we're going to next, right? Our actual uh, problem for today, and that's an ESB. So I'm sharing, let me come over here to Edsby. And we kind of already discussed everything in Edsby already, I think. Let me see here. That was through the slides. So you you know, I start the class off with townhouse, right? Townhouse link in every room. So start coming to townhouse because there's a lot of information that they try to disperse during that town. I think it's like 10 minutes of townhouse. Next is your link to get to the physics classroom. All right, this is the Google link in here. I think you guys can see what I'm doing because it says I'm presenting. Yeah. Um, lastly, you got your questions, right? So let's go through this slowly, all right? And we'll read we'll read the uh, top parts later on. So let's keep going. Um, Courtney already helped us out in the chat, and if you're not sure, take a look. I think you can see what I'm doing on my screen. So Lisa gave us the word of the day here. Right, then you guys can see all this. Courtney gave us exactly what I would like somebody to read. Thank you, Courtney. So let's see if I can get Jacqueline to read that part that's highlighted. Do you see it, Jacqueline, or should I put it in the chat again? Are you there? She's not. Mr. Clark, can you read what's in the chat? Do you see it? Can you make it bigger for me? Um. I see your chat though. Uh, hold on. Because I got two screens. Okay, I'll put it in the chat again. Um, so you see it? Do you see it now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just Mr. Tyler. No, I'll start with uh, the hello and good uh, day. You see the Google Meet yeah. chat? Hello okay. and good day to our future. 
It's like physicists. Physicists. How do I remember that? Synchronous. Synchronous. Yes, sir. Synchronous problems need to be completed by the completed and ready to present tomorrow in class. And anchorness problems have to be completed as homework and will be checked tomorrow in class as well. Thank you, sir. Asynchronous. So that, and, that, and participating like that, that gives you about 10 points. Those points add up towards one's assignment, Mr. Clark. All right, so let's keep going. Um, what was I about to do? So we're going to start our document off, right? And that's those are two questions that Courtney gave us uh, in class earlier. Okay, so let me share this to office. Uh, so we start a Google Doc. Make sure you log in a Gmail of some sort. And I'm in my teacher, but you've been in yours. And the first thing we want to do to type our report up to handle this problem is name our document so we can find it for test days. So do now. Uh, what's today's date? The 13th, right? And uh, October 2020. Next is the header. So I'm going to put my name, but you should be putting yours. Then we have the date again, because this is the header part. That's why you got to do it again. He was like, why I got to do it if I did it already? Because the document name and the header name are different. Uh, period second is what we're in. Right. And this, of course, is physics with algebra. Ooh, somebody's cat is crying out there. All right. Um, I forgot they got a lot of cats in this outside of the building. So uh, what are we doing? Uh, the title? Who knows? I think somebody told us the title was in the chat. Let me see here. Make sure I get the right person their points. Uh, it's right here. So it looks like who got it first? Well, Lisa helped us out with the oh, Courtney. Courtney did it, I think. Yeah. Courtney got it at 1014. So I was about to ask that question. That's what I meant. <laughs> Courtney was helping us out. That's what the acceleration. God bless you to whoever that was. Can't see everybody right now. I miss being at home. All right. So what is what's the acceleration? Not what the what the acceleration. What's the acceleration? The term and word of the day was given by Miss Brown. That's your title that goes in the middle. So I'm gonna come over here and grab this, and this is how you should format this, right? So I think Lisa even gave you the answer to it too. Really helping y'all out. Okay, so look, take, take a quick look at what I have so far because this is what you have to type up in Google Docs, right? So you start off with the document title that's up here. Okay, then we have the header that goes here. The title goes in the middle. This is the title of the body of the paper. Next, because a lot of students are skipping these parts and I, I do shave off points because it's about being neat, you know, and accurate. I want to make, you know, good citizens and uh, workers out of you guys. Uh, where of the day is consensus. I, I remember hearing that in townhouse. Term of the day is evaluation. Okay. So um, space that out. I think she's saying that's the definition for that. And that's the definition for that. If you did that much, you will get the 25 points. This is considered an exit slip. Mm -hmm. So exit slip. So you know why you're doing that. Like you had me doing something for nothing, actually. Every little thing you do in here gets you almost out of the class. And students know that about this class. Try to pay attention, try to get a lot done. Um, next is our two questions, right? You might should be used to this format by now, I think. It's word of the day, boom, boom, boom. Lisa did that. And the questions. So here's question one. I think Courtney gave us uh, the, the in class problem. And in a minute, uh, when we do review weeks, my learning assistants like uh, Lisa and Courtney trying to get uh, Aaliyah on board and Jacqueline, but you guys will be sharing out or demonstrating problems at the start of class. And this gives you uh, credit towards one quiz assignment. So I'm trying to go back in time and help you guys before this quarter is done. Because we're in week five, I think. Time is flying. I think this is the second question. I think it's correct. Looking at it, it is. It looks like what I wrote this morning for you guys. So they need to go over this again. <laughs> when I look at the quizzes, that, that looks horrible. Uh, so space it out. Okay. And so far, you should have this much. Now, I'm going to see if Lisa or Courtney can help me out with the notes to doing this. I'll be checking the notes. 
But if you need me to, um, I'll go through it if you understand the notes. So either way, take 10 minutes to at least set this up, what I've done so far. That's your, your document title, like this, all right? Uh, your header, title of the body, uh, exit slip. Don't forget to type it in so you can get that 25 points, easy points towards something else. And uh, the in-class problem and at the homework problem. You need all those components in about 10 minutes. Uh, then we're going to share out. So just have that. If you're not, if you don't remember what to do, just have that much. But everybody else who's had me last week, put some notes in there. You should be able to start this problem off by now. All right. And there is extra credit if you can at least start it off. So I want you to check your notes and see if you have it. There are questions I'm still sitting right here. So, but I want you to get started on this much because once we start going through the notes, students get lost. And we still got to do our simulator. So. Try to try to get all this in. Um, as a rush, I got to call a student. Can you let me know if I missed anybody while I'm muting myself? Yeah, I got you. Thank you. Sorry, Rush, that was that was for lie to disregard that. All right. How much time we got left up here? So everybody, seven more minutes. You should have this much typed up. And let me see who's in the chat. Wow, Lisa, you're awesome. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put the next set of notes in. We're gonna discuss it. Because I think Lisa has it. So if I take this, I'm going to copy it from the chat. This is about average acceleration, everybody. Right? So you know it's about average acceleration because the car says, what's the average acceleration? So if you got a little time and you finish this much, here's the first set of notes. Let me zoom in some so you guys can see. All right. So of course we got to do our housekeeping. We got to clean this up, right? So this is subscript i. The i drops down a little bit because it's t time initial. And then we got f that drops down. Here, clean it up. Same thing happens is because these are the inside functions of delta, which means change in. Okay. Then we got final. Right, and um, I think this raised to the power of two because it's meters per second squared. 
There we go. That looks a lot better. And we're going to center this. So these are your initial notes right here. And they have to, if you take it from the chat, it's not going to look the same. You got to do cleaning it up because this has to look mathematical, right? This is actually the definition in words and mathematically of average acceleration, what we're going to use today. Space that out for you guys. So take a couple minutes. Make sure you have everything we just talked about, right? Typed up into a Google Doc and ready to share because it's in class points you get to make sure you're participating. Take a few moments. Can you scroll up on that, Mr. Tyler? Sure. Like this? Yeah. Okay. Leave that there for you guys. I think I got her laptop going.
All right, everybody, uh, 30 more seconds. We're going to jump into this problem a little bit, take care of our simulation, and, and uh, we get out of here at 11.10, I want to say. So we got a little time. It's not a long problem if you follow the steps. Lisa, can you provide the rest of the steps, or you haven't got that far yet? My bad. Can you scroll down real quick? Sure. I got the answers on it. Do you want me to paste that? No, well, just the known values, not the final answer, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the known values. All right, let me stop this. Okay, so this is where we're at so far. Um, Clark, you straight, or you still need a little more time? Uh, I really need some more time. I had trouble getting two screens. I got two screens. Okay. All right, so two more minutes. Everybody else, take what Lisa, I think, put in the chat. Let me see one quick second if Lisa did that. And she did. So the next thing is I'm going to put in here is the known and unknown values. And this comes directly from the problem. Okay. The, vi the video recording will be available after 4 p.m., Clark. So don't, don't sweat it. Uh, you know, to go back and get all the correct notes. All right. We'll just take what you can. I know some students, they take snapshots and go back and retype. I'm really just trying to figure out how to word this thing. How to word it? How to work this thing. Oh, the, the laptop or the, the work? The whole laptop. It's cool, though. You can go on here. It's cool. oh, okay. So I'm just turning to the way it's supposed to look in the book. This is average acceleration. So you got to drop that AV down. And I'm going to format text and changing it. So each one of them just changing out. And these are the values that we got from the problem. Initial velocity, right, is 12, because it says it goes from 12 to 24.8 meters per second. That's a speed. So that's our initial velocity. Bf, right, is 24.8, because it goes from 12 to 24.8. So that's uh, initial, final. Then time, well, the time says uh, in about 6.7 seconds. So it lets you know you started with zero seconds and you clocked up to 6.7 seconds. So, ooh, you, wait, you did it backwards a little bit. Hold on. Almost, Lisa, almost. This is I, right, initial. And this is F, final. So be careful with that. Um, I think the only thing I got to do now is make it look like it's supposed to. So this is supposed to drop down. I'm showing you guys how to do it to get full points. So you just see I'm making them all mathematical looking now. Because the chat won't do that if you copy it over. You got to make those edits yourself. Make sure this I, this F, they match the same way as these over here in this form. Okay, so Lisa, did you uh, have the steps or should I go through them? Yeah, I had the steps. I got the answer. Well, just do the do the do the steps, but the final answer do not put in there. Okay, you tell me if I'm right or wrong if I paste it. Yeah, it's fine. I'll do it. You get points for having the notes at least. <laughs> okay, let me see what she has so far. Ah, oh, so here's some more. Let's take a look at what she did so far, guys. All right. I took that directly from the chat, and so can you. But you got to edit it. Okay, so what did I say, right? We took this equation from above, which is this one. All right, I'm just going to replace it with this one, because that's all she did. This one looks like the way I needed it to look. As average acceleration is equal to uh, the final velocity minus the initial velocity all divided by the final time minus the initial time. So what does that look like? Well, you did it right, Lee. So you just wrote it differently up here. <laughs> you did it right. You just you. I think that that step you just mixed your eyes and your f's. That was all. But you oh, still okay. set it up right though. <laughs> you set it up right though, dear. Um, so that's squared. These are not MS2s. These are meters per second squared, like we saw above. OK. Awesome. All right, so now we have what we need. Let's see what crosses out, right? I think that was a step you don't see in the chat. 
So this part crosses out. And then we end up with, uh, she, put, she put them together, but you just do the calculation for this part. So that comes to, she says, going to be uh, 24.8 from 12. And then this zero seconds went away, so it's just seconds. When you put these together, you get meters per second squared. So these go away because this, this is gonna, what's going to happen here. Cross that out. Cross this part out because the seconds in the second square in the bottom of the denominator, they become one. And the last step is just going to be you guys calculate it out and then going back and doing the same thing for your homework problem, which is literally the same problem, just different numbers. So don't let that, you know, frighten you. All right. So let me clean this up real quick. Show you how it's supposed to look as opposed to what's in the chat. And yes, you will have points taken off if you don't edit the same way. Let me fix this up for you guys. I'm just going to do this. So hey, Todd, I, I dropped the uh, GGI link. In, in the Thank chat. you, sir, because I cannot see nothing. I'm on one screen today. I'm at the school. Everybody take advantage of the link that Mr. Borders put in the chat. Remember, if you're participating, and I notice and it's, we do, uh, the staff does talk, you'll get a considerable amount of points for uh, towards extra credit. But you got to be participating. Thanks a lot, Todd. No, no problem. So make sure you guys take that link because uh, it's coming close to the end. Uh, everybody see it? It's... Uh, See, let's be all on time for GGI, 11, 15 a.m. The link is below. So make sure you copy that somewhere so you can use it or bookmark it. Okay, so what am I doing here? Um, the final answer is going to depend on you. Question mark, and what does that look like? Well, you just put into uh, Google or Symbolab 12.8 divided by 6.7. Anybody besides Lisa, who can tell me what that is? I've been working a mess out of Lisa, and I got to use her again next period. I don't want to overwork Lisa. Nobody knows what it is? You just type in, all right, well, let me show you how then. I can't see the chat, so if you do have it, let me know. I'll come over to the chat and look, but I'm just fixing this up so it looks right. Okay, so anybody? No, no takers. All right, so how do we do that? Well, all we got to do is, uh, oh, span this. Open a tab and hit equal sign. All right, it turns Google into your own personal calculator. And what you do is you type 12.8 divided by 6.7. See what I'm doing? And I get this answer here, which is 1.91. So our final answer is 1.91. I was trying to let somebody get, take advantage of the extra credit or the participation points. So the final answer will be, what did we say, 1.91. And that's the final answer there. All I did. Now I showed you all those steps so you can do it too. And bold your answer so I know when you're done with it. But to get the full credit, you need to do this part, all these steps. And we still got to do a snapshot before we get out of here because it's 1050, and I want to save time for that. And a snapshot is a simulation. So that simulation I told you guys to click on, start getting that ready. But real quickly, look, the only thing that changes is the, the numbers in the second problem. It's the same problem. So go back and use these steps, and all it is is a practice problem. But you got to have all that typed up. Now, we need our snapshot, Okay. If you don't have this, take a picture of it or review the video. The videos will be available in the Google slide in Edsby as well in the library section where I was always putting them. But um, the slide, uh, let's go back to it. You need this link going and let's show you everything. Like I said, you come back to the slide. If you clicked on me and um, you had a LinkedIn account, you would see this about me. So I, I really encourage you guys to set up a LinkedIn account because it lets you get to know people, find out who can help you in different job markets. And it is way better than Facebook. I've been using it for going on, I want to say 20 years. All of my uh, credentials, everything, everywhere I've worked, all that stuff is there. So I was going to tell you guys to set that up. So when you come to the terms of doing, doing your resumes or trying to get a job, you have one more way of putting your foot in the door, right? Okay, so that's me. We got the school part. 
I told you about CERN where I used to work. This is meditation music here. Um, it's a nice little track. So if you're doing your work, I suggest you play it. And it's what I use to grade papers. So definitely play it and relax, right? You click on me in that slide, and it'll take you to my prep period. So uh, we got CS for all class. This is physics, you guys, Society of Physics Students. I'll try to get one here. And um, career technical education, these are the robotics students. All right, so if you're in any of these classes, when you're in there, you just click on it. So for instance, this is physics. And we're gonna go back to, like I said, this cubby hole over here. So all of these are different simulations. And Lisa pointed out the right one, the race car. So I told you about all these other links and this is how you get to class, but this is the one we're gonna focus on now. So I'm gonna click on that. And here we are, right? Okay, so the first thing, snapshot we need is that we did the intro, but now we need friction, right? So we'll click on the friction um, version, and it'll change it up just a little bit, but make sure it's the, the middle one you click on, All right? Everybody should be here. Now, we're gonna make a snapshot using this button over here, but first we gotta make this do whatever we wanna take a snapshot of, right? So let's begin that. I'm going to take this skater and put him right on the track. And he's going to just do like that, right? I'm going to now start monitoring the speed, put a grid on there so I can see how it's graphed, and also a bar graph and a pie chart. The reason you see these is because you want to see all the different values, right? So look at the pie chart on the top of the skater's head. You'll see the measure of energy in terms of kinetic, potential, thermal, and total. Notice this is all happening while the acceleration of the skater goes down. Okay, now I'm gonna do one more. Let's do this one, this third one. Okay, now I think this gives us constant momentum where the skater almost never slows down. If they do, just gonna raise them up some more, hold on. Come here, guy. Everybody else should be doing what I'm doing so we can get uh, to the snapshot part. Okay, so you wanna take a snapshot when you have at least the same amount of energy for to uh, potential and um, if you look at my screen, potential and total, right? All the way up here, the highest amount of potential energy you can. Let go, because that's gonna be the burnout for the kinetic energy. And I wanna see enough thermal built up. So you're gonna take a snapshot when the thermal hits about right there. Okay, I just did a screenshot. Screenshot will download over here. You come back to your Google Doc now, and we're going to insert that image, our simulation of what's happening into the screen, into our Google Doc. So put that here. In order to insert something, you come up to Insert and Google Docs, Image, Upload from Computer. Takes a moment, takes a moment. And it's in the downloads. You're going to look for the picture you took. All of you guys should be pros at this. Uh, Mr. Clark, if you need help with this, I can definitely help you offline, but this this is all due by eight, so you got time to finish it. Resize your image, though, so you have enough room, you can see it. And there you have it, right underneath the problem. Now, the best part is, guys, because we're coming close to the end, you do not need to do uh, a snapshot for the homework problem. This is only for the in-class problem, because I want you to see what you're calculating. Now, um, I'm gonna give you guys about, let's see, it's 10.55. See, so five more minutes, we're gonna share out a screen, see how much you got done. You should have a snapshot, and most of these notes completed, okay? Now this is in-class points, so just share what you have, try to get as much done, so I can at least add some points to your in-class score, okay? So five minutes, does anybody need to scroll up or down, or like, where are you guys at with this? Scroll up. Scroll up, okay, so let me go up a little bit. Does that help? Mm -hmm. Okay. For so five minutes, we're going to share out everybody. No, I'm going to say, yeah, scroll down a little bit. Okay. Right down past that picture. Oh, this okay. part? Yeah, this is the second problem. Yeah, the homework problem.
Okay, so two more minutes, and we're going to share out and see how, much, how far people have gotten. All right, everybody, it looks like that is time to change screens. Uh, just need people to share their screen and show how far they've gotten. Okay, so uh, let's see who's first in the list. Uh, Lisa, all right, I didn't know you put the link, uh, the, the actual answer in there, Lisa. <laughs> Pretty good. All right, so I'm waiting for uh, the first person to share uh, their screen. Uh, let's see who's first in the list, who's still with us. Oh, Angel left, oh, didn't he? Oh, goodness. I got to reach out to them. Uh, Leah, can you share your screen? Oh, Courtney jumped in there. Okay, never mind. Courtney, go ahead. <laughs> Courtney's like, oh, I got I to gotta, I gotta be somewhere. Okay. Okay. Scroll up. Uh, I want to make sure you got everything, Courtney. Okay, okay. Where's your uh, snapshot, Courtney? You going to put that in later? Can't hear him. Okay. Uh, Don't. I couldn't get the like, like, like the simulation. Like, oh, not explain. Like, it, like it's just something wrong with it. Okay, we gotta figure out what's wrong with it because that takes away from your points. But try to get it working. Try to take a snapshot, Courtney. Okay. Uh, don't forget about that second problem. So you're free to go, dude. 8 p.m. Courtney, turn it in. Uh, Leah, are you there? Are you sharing Aaliyah or are you on a different device now? You're, it's two Aaliyahs now. There you go. You're sharing Aaliyah. It's now three Aaliyahs. <laughs> okay, so what are you show, showing us, Leah? Everybody else should be getting their screens queued up and ready to share. Looking good, Leah. Off a of phone? Jeez Louise, girl. Y'all be trying to do the most on these phones. Okay, you still need to snapshot, Leah, when you can. You got to fix those subscripts and stuff. But otherwise, pretty good. Uh, make sure you convert it to a PDF and submit it to um, the Google. I'm um, sorry, to Esby, so I can grade it by 8 p.m. You're free to go, oh. dear. Okay. All right. Don't forget. How you stop sharing? Yeah. yeah. You got you to gotta go to stop presenting. Okay, she just killed it. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Mr. Clark, you got anything you want to share yet?
Uh, <clears throat> I, I just took a few notes based off what I what I seen. I'm still just you feel me, just trying to gain off the concept of what we're doing. Well, right now we're just taking notes and putting. No, notes no, yeah, I got notes. notes. I just wrote them down. I'm gonna upload them to you. Before oh, okay, you. yeah, just type them up. That's all you need to do. Um, it'll come with under your understanding will come the more you come to class. Um, so Jacqueline, uh, you got till 8 p.m. to type it all up, sir. All right, I got you. Okay, uh, Jacqueline, are you there? see something on the screen All right. okay well Lisa you last at the bat dear I'm not gonna hold you I know do you have I seen you had something do you have anything more that she quick with it <laughs> okay and hey, you got it edited right Lisa pretty good Okay. Oh, you put the picture in the right place, too. Thank you. All right. Well, I'll see you next period, Lisa. So it's going to be an easy day in that class for you because it's all review. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good right. day. I'll you see too. you next period. Okay. Jacqueline, are you there? She came to class and disappeared on me. I got everybody. Yeah, I got everybody. Okay. Okay, so let me stop this recording.